knocking at my door A little too late for I'm sorry for The lights went out cause you kept cutting the cord And I started to fade into your grave See I finally opened up my eyes And I saw me coming back to life That I'd be better without you inside It's a thin tie for the half winter this will give you a neat and symmetrical triangle shaped knot. Start with the wide end of the tie on the right and the narrow end on the left like this. Pass the wide end over the top of the narrow end, tuck it behind and wrap it around the back. Next, take the wide end and pass it down through the loop and out to the right to form a tight triangle. Bring the wide end across in front of the knot, moving from right to left. This time, bring the wide end up through the neck loop between your tie and collar button. Tuck the wide end into the loop that you have formed at the front of the tie and pull it down to create the knot. To finish it off, hold on to the narrow end and push the knot up into place. You can make the knot smaller by pulling down on the wide end. Okay, so it's tied with the little end, it's on this side, it's the long end, and then the big end is over here, It is, and the bottom of my big end is just a little bit above my belt line. All right, so starting off, we're going to dimple our big end, bring it to the middle, take the little end, cross over. Take the little end, feed it up through the back of your necktie, and across. So we're gonna be tying this necktie knot uh, quite loose. Not too loose that it you know, starts falling on you, uh, but keeping it loose so it sort of stays open and flowery, right? All right, so taking this little end, we're gonna cross it around the back like so, feed it up through the top of your necktie and back down and across. So I just want to keep it just loose enough so nothing's tight there. Taking this little end, we want to make it crossing over the, the higher end. I'm holding it up with my thumb here. I want it to be a little bit on the high side as I bring it across and I feed it up through the back of our necktie knot here. I don't want it falling down. So this is the part where I I tend to tighten this part up a little bit because I want to keep this a little on the high side. Alright, so it's not going to be perfectly tight, but I just want it to stay up there. Alright, taking the little end now, crossing over, feeding it back in behind and around, and this is it, we're almost done. We'll feed the top end down through our neck hole again, and we're going to tuck it in behind our uh, collar here. So it's not as tight as it, or it's a little loose for me at this moment. Um, so you can just put your fingers in there. I'm pulling down this end a little bit and I wouldn't mind actually tightening this part up just a tiny bit more. Now I can bring that across again.
Okay, so I'm gonna start off with my blade on my right side, which is the large end, my tail, which is the thin end on the left side, and I have the blade, the tip of my blade, to, to write it about my belt line. I'm gonna go ahead and create my power crease just by pinching and pulling to the center, cross over with the tail end, and wrap around the back, up through the middle, just like so. So this is what we presently have, okay? From here, I'm gonna go ahead and take this baby. I'm just going to fold it this way. So I have now folded it under and to the right, like an L shape. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap around the back, back up through the center, and bring it back on down. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing I just did, but now I'm folding it in an L shape facing outward. So I'm coming up and over. We're gonna wrap around the back again and once I have that I'm now bringing it over to this side here and this is where it can get a little tricky so from here I want to go ahead and create like that backwards L shape so I'm gonna fold it just like so once again I'm taking it like this folding it in and up so I've got my L type shape here all right now this is where stuff gets a little extra okay so I'm gonna insert my finger right in this loop here I'm just gonna slide the tail of that tie right through that loop so I'm now underneath the blade and in this loop right in here and I'm gonna bring it back up and over you can see the way that my tie naturally wants to face so I'm gonna just go ahead and fold it up in the same manner that I've been doing and I'm gonna bring it right in through this top loop. Okay, so up, over, fold it up. I'm gonna go ahead and hold it right there. I know some of you guys are thinking like, this is so difficult, and yes, at first it really is. It takes a little bit of trial and effort, but you'll get it. Don't worry with it too much. Okay, and from here, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this baby and fold it. I'm going to wrap it around, and when I bring it in here, I'm actually going to bring it into this second loop right here. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this baby folded the whole way down, and just slide right in between these two loops, bring it right on in there. Now, of course, if you wanted uh, more of like a noticeable detail in there, you can actually take it where you've got your... Uh, rough sides facing outward, so I'll show you what that looks like real quick. And be able to wear it like that. But I personally think it looks better with the smooth side facing out. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and bring that up. I don't want to tuck it under because if I bring it up, it gives more of that rose type shape to me. So I'm going to bring it up and then tuck it underneath there. And now is where I start to really Okay, so from there, I'm going to go ahead and fold this collar down, have a look and see how it looks. Okay, and I'm pretty well satisfied with that, so 